Hello everyone. This is lecture number 5.10 and uh, today's topic is solution for first order higher degree equation. Here given that uh, solution for first order and higher degree. First order means dy dx and higher degree means the degree or the power of dy dx that will be more than 1. Okay, and we have to solve this type of equation and uh, in my last lecture that means lecture number 5.9 we have completed the topic that first order first degree equation solution of first order first degree equation okay now actually this type of solution for first order higher degree equation there are in your syllabus there are three methods okay first one is solvable for p second one is solvable for y And last, last method is solvable for x. Solvable for x. Okay. And today's topic is the first topic that is solvable for p. Okay. So let's discuss what is solvable for p and how to solve this type in this method. Clear? First of all, let me tell you the process or the steps in solvable for p. So, first of all, the equations will be given in the form of dy dx. So, first replace dy dx by p. This is first step. Replace dy dx by p. Actually, we are using the letter p in place of d dx. And here dependent variable is y. That's why p is equals to dy dx. Clear? Now, next step. Next step is actually if I replace the derivative term that means dy ds using p. So obviously the left hand side of the equation that will be a polynomial in p. Okay, for example, suppose the equation is dy dx whole square plus 3 dy dx uh, plus y equals to 0. Let's say this is the equation. So if you replace dy dx by p, so this will be p squared plus 3p plus y equals to 0. So obviously the left hand side of the equation, this is a polynomial in p. That's why now I am, uh, the step 2 is factorize the polynomial, factorize the polynomial. in p okay now how many factors will be there it is depending on the degree of the equation here in this example in this exam example the degree is 2 that's why if you factorize this polynomial you will get two factors okay if the degree is 3 you will get three factors and let me tell you that uh, in your syllabus or not actually not actually in your syllabus in your examination there will be maximum two factors that means the order will be maximum sorry the degree will be maximum two clear so you will get maximum two factors if if there is any question where the degree is three so obviously in that case you will get three factors now step three step three is in this case you are getting two factors now you have to solve each factor okay so step three solve each factor okay solve each factor now if you solve each factor you will get suppose you, you have two factors this will be p minus let's say f1 p minus f2 two factors okay if you solve p minus f1 you will get one arbitrary constant c1 if you solve p minus f2 you will get one arbitrary constant c2 okay that means you are getting two solutions and each solution will contain an arbitrary constant okay now final step is <coughs> when you are writing the general solution that means the final solution multiply multiply each solution when you 
are writing final general solution okay final general solution okay now let me tell you in any differential equation the number of arbitrary constant that depends on the order of the equation okay and your syllabus that means module one this is totally first order differential equation okay so obviously the solution will contain only one arbitrary constant but problem is here we are getting two arbitrary constants c1 and c2 but this is not possible because the condition is if order is one then the arbitrary constant will be one okay that's why in last step and and take c1 equals to c2 equals to c okay since in first order differential equation that will contain only one arbitrary constant so i am taking the two arbitrary constants c1 c2 that are equal and it is this is equals to uh, an arbitrary constant c okay so this is the process now let's solve a problem and the steps or the process will be very clear to you question solve x y p square plus p into 3 x square minus 2 y square minus 6 x y equals to 0 okay actually in this equation the first step was here replace dy dx by p but in this case the equation already the equation is given in uh, p form okay so let's factorize this the left hand side of this equation okay so solution we can write this given equation in this form so given equation can be written as let's multiply or let's simplify x y p square plus 3 x square p minus 2 y square p minus 6 x y equals to 0 okay or if i take common uh, p x from these two factors okay so p x is common so we are getting y p plus 3 x okay and from here taking common minus 2y 2y so yp plus 3x this is equals to 0 or yp plus 3x into px minus 2y this is equals to 0 so step 2 is complete what was the step 2 factorize the polynomial in p so here we have two factors yp plus 3x and px minus 2y equals to 0. Now solve each factor. Now yp plus 3x equals to 0. So we know that p is equals to dy dx. So we can write y dy dx plus 3x this is equals to 0 or y dy plus 3x dx this is equals to 0 okay and if you integrate this equation integrating so we are getting y square by 2 plus 3x square by 2 this is equals to let's say this is equals to c1 by 2 just just maintaining this pattern okay so you are getting y square plus 3x square equals to c1 okay this is one solution and and the another factor that is px minus 2y equals to 0 so x dy dx minus 2y this is equals to 0 or x dy this is equals to 2y 
dx and we have to integrate now that's why we have to take the y variable with dy and we have to take the x variable with dx okay so dy by y this is equals to 2 into dx by x now here y is with under this dy and here x is under this dx now integrate integrating so this will be log of y this is equals to 2 log of x plus let's say log of c2 okay so log y equals to from here you are getting log c2 x square okay if you neglect the log so you are getting y is equals to c2 x square okay so here we have two solutions first one is y square plus 3x square equals to c1 and second one is y is equals to c2 x square okay or you can say y by x square equals to c2 now the last step was multiply each solution when you are writing the final general solution and take c1 equals to c2 equals to c okay so what is the general solution the final answer so the general solution is general solution is first solution y square plus 3x square equals to c1 so we have to write y square plus 3x square minus c okay this is first solution and second solution was y equals to c2x square so you have to write y minus cx square okay this is equals to 0 this is the final solution now question is uh, why uh, we are multiplying these two solutions actually this is the uh, original polynomial na? this is the polynomial okay and we have factorized the polynomial so this is in multiplication form okay and we have find out the solution of each factor so the solution of the original polynomial that will be again in multiplication form yes or no if the if the polynomial is in multiplication form so obviously the solution of the polynomial that will be also in multiplication form okay so this is your final answer so you can write this is the general solution and where where c is arbitrary constant okay let's try another solution next question and this is very very important solve dy dx minus dx dy this is equals to x by y minus y by x process is same first convert this equation in a polynomial of p so you have to replace dy dx by p so p minus if dy dx equals to p so what will be dx dy 1 by p so p minus 1 by p this is equals to x by y minus y by x okay obviously we can write in this form now just simplify so this will be p square minus 1 divided by p this is equals to x square minus y square divided by x y or cross multiplication p square x y minus x y this is equals to p x square minus p y square or p square x y minus p x square plus p y square minus x y this is equals to zero okay now what is common so from first two factors we can take common px so this will be py minus x okay and from the last two factors we can take common y okay so plus y py minus x this is equals to zero so we have two factors py minus x and px plus y this is equals to zero 
now you have to solve each factor now p y minus x this is equals to 0 p means dy dx so y dy dx minus x this is equals to 0 or y dy minus x dx this is equals to 0 okay now if I integrate so integrating integrating so um, this will be y square by 2 minus x square by 2 and this is equals to let's say c1 by 2 okay this is the first solution or you can write y square minus x square this is equals to c1 okay Achha. now next factor and what was the next factor px plus y px plus y this is equals to 0 so x dy dx plus y this is equals to 0 or x dy equals to minus y dx and you can write dy by y this is equals to minus dx by x now if you integrate this equation integrating so log of y this is equals to minus log of x plus log of c2 okay so or log of y equals to log of c2 by x okay by the uh, properties of logarithm or y is equals to c2 by x or you can say xy equals to c2 so obviously here we have two solutions and we have to multiply the solutions so so the general solution is general solution is y square minus x square minus c into xy minus c this is equals to 0 where c is arbitrary constant okay now just try some uh, problems from your textbook okay thank you so much